My name is Skinner, and this is Skinner's Dose, where I document my daily dose of adrenaline and help you get ideas of different adventures that you can take with me to get your adrenaline pumping too. I love America, and I'm blessed every day to wake up and ask myself, what am I going to do today to get my adrenaline pumping? Thanks so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe. bit of something different in there so it's not just OEM and I am trying to race the sun right now I've had to move the bike a thousand times because the shadow keeps going so it looks like it's about to happen again I will show you real quick but man I am so excited I think it just perfect. Just kept the OEM shrouds through a little bit of that metallic in on, you know, the number plates, rear fender. But man, I'm excited. You guys can't even tell how much it shines on the camera. Every time I try and get the right lighting, it just doesn't happen. So if you guys ever see it in the truck, see it at the track, on the trails, at the dunes, if you want to feel free, stop by, check it out. It is awesome. They did an amazing job. I'll walk you through it. Some of you saw my last builds. I really like to go through the brands that I rep on my bike. I'm not sponsored by any of them. I don't get anything for free or anything, but these are companies that are local. I don't like just repping random logos that don't really mean anything, um, but these are local companies that I work with all the time and they really mean something to me. So again, we have the Nixon logo. Um, they're not really local, I guess, but my son's name's Nixon. And I thought this is a really cool way to rep his name but do it in like a logo form again he's a fighter he always reminds me to fight hard no matter what give it your all um so that's that one coming over here and look at the way the sun hits that holographic metallic that is so sick anyways we got dose hopefully by now you guys know what dose is dose is my company um i'm really proud of it i built it from the ground up i buy and sell parts and accessories for mostly side-by-sides but trucks dirt bikes too um apparel and then hopefully we're going to get into some cool stuff this next year um coming there next you'll see hellbent industries casey skinner um in utah he is an amazing fabricator does tons of work on the jeep um allows me to use the shop he's done a lot of stuff for us um but yeah, he's super awesome. If you need any fab work done, hit up Hellbent Industries. Ignite Automotive. Man, if you guys are buying a used truck in Utah, even out of state, and you're not buying it from Ignite, you're doing yourself a disservice. They are awesome. Hit up Dalton, Tyler, Hugo, all over there. Love you guys. They're awesome. This here is for a friend of mine. Um, it's his initials. But he passed away when I was serving my mission. Um, and it just reminds me that riding under his wing, never ride faster or crazier than your guardian angel can fly um, but he's always protecting us super thankful for him again you have nixon and last zapped headwear um, he does all of our hats um, he does an amazing job again i don't get anything for free but i love the quality and everything he does is awesome check out his website it is amazing and again you'll come to oh there's you can see some of that metallic there Coming to the rear fender, you'll see the same logos. And coming over here, it's so crazy the difference where the sun's not hitting that. It doesn't even look like it's got metallic in it. And then, boom. But everything has that same metallic. The same logos there. The only thing that doesn't is the shrouds. Um, the fender does too. Oh, you can kind of see it there. But anyway, heck yeah, super stoked on it. Did a great job. You can kind of see the metallics again too super stoked turned out awesome can't wait to finally be able to take it to a track let me know what you guys think what do you guys want to see on the bike next and this bike is 
all new it came out last year it's a 22 the 23s are identical no mechanical changes so this is the latest 250 that you can buy um, all new so a lot of you guys i understand don't have it maybe you guys want it some of you are waiting from your dealer some of you are still hustling trying to come up with the money to get it so let me know what you guys want to know about it what kind of videos you want on it but if you made it this far thanks so much for supporting don't forget to like and subscribe see you on the next one huge cheap updates coming soon